Let's take a look at 25034 generators, portable and vehicle mounted. A grounding electrode is not required for a portable generator if the generator supplies a receptacle or equipment mounted on the generator. I guess it could be supplies re receptacle or receptacles. Probably it supplies receptacles or equipment mounted on the generator. So this generator supplies receptacles only, cord and plug connected. A grounding electrode is not required. Let's go to vehicle mounted generators. A grounding electrode isn't required for a vehicle mounted generator if the generator frame is connected to the vehicle frame and the generator only supplies equipment or receptacles mounted on the vehicle or generator. We've had some discussion here before this recording is like, well, if this is not having a bunch of receptacles here, but actually hardwiring and you're bringing conductors into a building, it's either going to be a separately dry system or it's not going to be a separately dry system, depending upon the transfer switch. And Scott, you're saying you use these vehicle mounted generators a lot and you're bringing them to a building that power has been turned off. So obviously this is a separately derived system or you're using it for a construction site, for con trailers, and there's no other power, so there's no transfer switch. That's a separately derived system. So even though it's a vehicle mounted generator, it's supplying equipment that's not on and it's not receptacles. Now, I don't know, but if this had cam locks and if this was receptacles, even though they're single conductors, then that would not require a grounding electrode. But you're saying you haven't really seen it like that. I haven't seen it like that often, and, and if a cam lock is going to be considered a receptacle, then you would need to do that. But in most of the cases where you have a vehicle mounted generator, it's it's a construction trailer, which means you got a separate drive system serving a construction trailer, so 250.30 applies. If you have a building that you've turned the power off to do some work, it's a vehicle mounted generator, it's serving fixed wiring, it's a separate drive system. So, so portable generators still can be separately derived systems. It's just not portable port necessarily, vehicle mounted. Portable or vehicle. Typically, it's going to be vehicle. I, I, I can't yeah, imagine right. a situation it may exist. But a vehicle-mounted generator most often is a separately-derived system. Okay. 